Hey dude, where's my donkey? Hey dude, where has he gone? My wife is having a baby with no donkey to ride on. Ride on! I played Mr. Shepherd, who's coming. Who's a, t a school's inspector who's come with his daughter to um, inspect St. Bernadette's. But during that period, I get kicked in the head by a donkey. Come on! I lose my memory, I forget that I've got a daughter, I forget what Christmas is, I forget my entire past life. Who are you? Dad? Who are you? And um, I forget that I've got to get married to Catherine Tate on Christmas Eve in New York. This new character and his story about the memory loss just felt like I really wanted to tell that story. This is the baby Jesus. Mr. Poppy and the children set about trying to reteach me my life, reteach me Christmas, and reteach me my love for my fiance through the medium of flash mob. Yeah! It's a joy because you're playing. You do know who I am, don't you? We all, you know, play as little people and then you grow up and you sort of decide that it's too difficult to play and you become kind of a bit fearful of all those things. What have you done with my donkey? It's lovely to re-engage with that and Debbie's films always allow you to do that because they're improvised so you have to be in the moment. The prospect of improvising is, you know, is new and challenging for me. Um, at an age where you don't often get challenged. The children are incredibly spontaneous, which is a masterstroke of Debbie's to use these kids. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! I suppose at the heart of the film, because you're seeing a lot of it through their eyes, and Lauren, the little Lauren who carries Nativity 3 through, you're following her journey as she tries to get her um, dad's memory back. Are you OK, Dad? An abandoned child is an upsetting notion, and it, because her dad can't remember who she is, her prospects aren't looking great, and it, it does get quite sad. My mum! Where's she? In heaven! That seems to be a tradition of uh, Christmas movies, or just movies, that, you know, there's some sort of peril on offer, and something gets resolved and people get happy. And the Gordon Shakespeare. <laughs> And from the Oak Mall. And we're incredibly posh, aren't you, children? Yes! yes. Although it is fun filled, festive caper and all of that, it does There's have stuff going on underneath. Message. Well, it, well, it does. It and does, it, and, it, and, it, and, it, and I think it does play out long after the film's finished, which is always a good sign of anything when you're still thinking about it and thinking, ah, oh, and there is something else going on. Dude, he's your gonna try.